Good morning, everybody. It is day 34 on the Appalachian Trail. And I just realized for some of you newcomers here, you don't even know my name or who I am. Well, my trail name is Kilt. And that's because I'm hiking in a traditional kilt or a hiking kilt, per se. So, my name's Kilt, and I'm hiking, through hiking, the Appalachian Trail. At least I'm giving it a solid attempt. So, it's not a complete till you're done. But anyway, we are heading into town to the Mountain Harbor B&B Hostel for a day off, a night off. We call it a Nero because I'm doing a half a mile hiking of this morning, so it's not a full zero. And I'm just coming down through this gully right now, this little stream down there. And I just gave them a call and they said, we don't pick you up because we're so close, you just walk on over. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna walk down here to the road and then we're gonna walk on over to the hostel. So, thanks for tuning in. Stick around and we'll see what the day brings us. Probably a whole lot of rest, relaxation, laundry, showers, and uploading this video for you guys. So let me show you the morning trail, what's left of it. Here we go. Nice, easy gravel walk this morning. And you can hear that highway traffic. And that would be US 19 in Tennessee. That's right, we are in Tennessee full-fledged now. All right, we'll be back. Okay, so we just crossed the street from right over there. You can see the white blaze telling you that's the trail there. And you can see the white blaze on that tree. Highway traffic. And then here's the highway. We need to go left and downhill to Mountain Harbor B&B. So, we're gonna go all the way on the shoulder, in the dirt, and head down here and look for their, for their, she said it was only like a tenth of a mile or so. All right, here we go. Here we are. That's that main entrance sign, and here is the hiker trail. Mountain Harbor. One more time on that. And get off this interstate, this highway. Here we go. And it was, it was just not even barely, I say, a tenth around the bend against the highway. Oh, there's a nice stream running down here. Wow. Check out that treehouse, kids. How many of you boys and girls wouldn't enjoy a treehouse like that? I know Uncle Billy would. <laughs> it's a private treehouse, man cave. Very, very nice. Too bad it's not middle of summer. Let me take a dip in there. And it got down to 32 last night. A little condensation in the tent this morning, no big deal. We'll get everything aired out today. So what this family's done is they've taken this old barn here 
and converted it into a bunkhouse hostel. And then the main house is beautiful up there on the hillside. Wow, absolutely gorgeous. They are going to town here on landscaping. Oh yeah, and that's natural, that's spring, that's stream. Yeah, that's not man-made. That rock is all natural. All right, let's go get checked in. Check this out. All right, we'll do a tour in a bit. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and film the hostel so I can show you guys around before a whole lot of hikers start rolling in and checking in early. I got here early. So over here on the left side, you've got the deck that overlooks the stream and everything. When the food truck's open, you can place this hang out and eat or just power your devices. There's the uh, fountain, the big house up top where breakfast is served. And that's the general store right there on the right with the resupplies and stuff. And then we'll go in here. Oh, and back up under the logo. Barn door slides open. And full coffee station that's complimentary for staying here. A couple microwaves, toaster ovens, a fridge if you need to store some things while you're here. A couch there, TV on a wall, downstairs picnic table. Got some space heaters running to knock the chill off. Big old bar counter. That room right there is a double room. A kitchen sink to wash up your dishes, dishes, which I'm about to do. I gotta wash my coffee cup and my pot and water, rinse out my water bags. All right, let's go upstairs. We'll say hello to the two resident kitties that are sound asleep. All snuggled up. Hopefully they stay alert all night and keep the mice down. There should there shouldn't be any. Pop my head in here real quick. This is a double, which is just two singles. And then there's a shower bathroom here. And then in the main room up here. We've got four single beds in the back deck. Go ahead and spin around and look up into the loft. And up in the loft, I do believe there's three, four? four, four single beds up there in the loft also. So you got four up top, four here, the double back there that I just showed you. There's another private room downstairs too. I can open for you. Oh, is there? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And then there's the bathroom also right here with another shower. And another wash station here. In case you need to wash anything up. And then a private room over here that I have for the night. And it's a king size private room. Very nice and accommodating. Got outlets to charge your devices. They got loaner clothes for after you get a shower while you're doing your own laundry. Got my gear all food out, I'm trying to get a two and a half day resupply set up. And my pack, just kind of gear explosion everywhere. Got the quilt hanging to air out. 
And then there's another private, single private downstairs that she said so, but we don't need to see that. Very nice hostel though. Very nice place. All right, we'll be back when we do end of the day wrap up. It's not gonna be a big wrap up because we only did a 0.5 today. So we'll see y'all in a little while. All right, everybody, welcome back. And this is gonna be our short end of the day wrap up. We're still here at Mountain Harbor B&B. Um, it's just evening time now, it's our Nero. We did our 0.5 this morning, so we did some miles, so it still counts as a Nero. And after a further weather forecast check, and the rain's coming in all day, 100% tomorrow, I'm actually gonna take a zero tomorrow, but we're gonna bounce over to Station 19E because they have a bed there. They're completely booked here for tomorrow night, so we're gonna stay here tomorrow night, have our big breakfast in the morning, and then shoot over to 19E. I'll try to catch some film of that, and if they do get anything decent, I'll put it at the end of this. But let me show you the book real quick. It's just one line for a 0.5 mile from where we set up camp to where we are now. So without further ado, here we go. All right, well, we spent the night right there at Apple House Tent Site at 394.8. And we pushed downhill right there to 395.3 US 19, which is the split of Elk Park in North Carolina to the right. And to left is the town of Roan Mountain, Tennessee. And you can see we did the 0.5. And that is for night 34, and tomorrow's gonna be a zero for third day 35 on trail, or off trail, as, as we would say. So once again, I just wanted to thank everyone for tuning in and following along. I do appreciate you and your views, and hope you're enjoying the journey as long as much as I am. It was a nice day to rest up, got all my laundry done. Actually, everything's in the dryer right now. Cleaned up, showered, all the fun stuff, and got our resupply done for a two and a half day after tomorrow's zero and we are pushing on to boots off hostel out of here so again thank you everybody and hope you enjoyed it we'll see you in the morning have a good night everybody bye bye